Hey everyone, welcome back to another video over the Wreath Network on TryHackMe. Today we're going to be going over Task 27, Empire Agents within the Command and Control section. Now that we've started a listener and created a stager, it's time to put them together to get an agent. We've been building up to uh, up towards getting an agent on the compromised web server, so let's do that now. The process for this is identical whether we are using Starkiller or CLI, or the Empire CLI rather. We need to get the file under the target and execute it. There are a variety of ways we could do this. The simplest would be uh, simply uh, by, be to use your preferred CLI text editor to create a file on the target and then copy and paste the script in. Then you just need to execute it at the end. Very simple. If using this method, please do it in the forward slash temp directory and follow the file name uh, dash username dot sh uh, naming convention. We could also use something here called a here document or here dash document to execute the entire script without ever writing it to the disk. That said, this is overkill. We need uh, if we read through the script, we can see that it is in three main parts. So we have bin bash and then we are uh, the actual body of the script here, and then an rm-f, dollar uh, sign zero, and exiting. In the green square, we have the shebang. This tells the uh, shell which interpreter to run the script under. Uh, in this case, we would uh, the script would be run using the bin bash interpreter, so just bash. The red square contains the payload itself. This is the section we're interested in. The blue square contains post-processing commands. Specifically, these two lines tell the script to delete itself, then exit. Knowing this, we can just copy everything in the red square and then execute it in a terminal on the target. So we can just copy this bit here, nice and easy. Um, in this case, I'll probably end up doing that where I just copy this to my clipboard, open up a visual text editor like mousepad, and then we'll just take the middle bit out because that's what we ultimately need. This results in an agent being received by our waiting listener. And the Empire CLI receiving a listener looks something like this. So very similar to receiving a Metasploit uh, connection right there. We can then type agents and hit enter to see a full list of available agents. And we can see that down here. This name is random. I believe you can, yeah, you can change that pretty easily. To interact with an agent, we use interact and then agent name. This puts us into the uh, context of the agent. We can view a full list of Empire uh, available commands rather with help. So we can do interact and then the name of the agent there and then help gives us all of the commands and there's lots and lots of stuff we can do. Note that this menu will change depending on the stager used. When we have finished with our agent, we use the back command to switch back or context back to the agent menu. This doesn't destroy the agent. However, um, if we did want to kill our agent, we would do it with the kill and then agent name command. And we can see that demoed right down here below. We can also rename agents using the uh, command rename and then the agent name as it stands and then our new name at the end. To interact with agents in Starkiller, we go to the agents tab, which is going to be right down here. So the third one on the left hand side of the screen. Here we can see that our agent has checked in. And there we go. Note that once again, if you have an agent back to an Empire listener, this will uh, also show up here. To interact with an agent in Starkiller, we can either click on it directly or click on the pop out icon uh, in the rubbish bin action or icon in the actions column or next to the rubbish bin icon rather. This results in a pop up menu giving us the option to execute shell commands or modules. Let's go ahead. I am going to copy this to a clipboard um, and I'm going to actually sudo su i'm going to go ahead and run my stager so that we just get this back and we can see what it looks like so cd web uh cd loot web server and then we're going to do ssh dash i and we'll run that full command there and now we can go ahead and nano uh sager dash dark dash initial uh dot sh i'm going to go ahead and pop or paste this in and there we go chmod plus x stager dash dark uh, dash initial dot sh and then we can go ahead and run that and we should be able to see it now in our menu and there we go cool uh so we can see that we can interact with it here this would be to kill it and then, then we can interact with it there 
a little dangerous having those <laughs> close together, but we can uh, easily just click on this as well. So this results in a pop-up menu giving us the option to execute shells or commands. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on that here. And there's our pop-up menu that uh, gives us a nice, uh, that's a little big, gives us a nice um, way that we can interact with that agent specifically. Really convenient. Um, and in this case, we can actually even just close the SSH uh, session that we have open to that because, well, we have an agent running on there, which is even better. As noted previously, Starkiller's collaborative features are superb. Any command executed here will show up attached to the username of the Starkiller account who executed it. So in this case, I'm running as Empire Admin, so I'll be the one executing it. Typically, you want to have one of those per team member with a code name for that team member. To delete agents in Starkiller, we can use either the trash can icon in the pop-out agent window or the trash can in the agents window itself. So there's a trash can there if we want to kill it. I don't want to. I, I like having shells on things. I don't know about you. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, rather. Oh, we can kill it right there. Let's see. Using the cult command for guidance uh, in the CL Empire CLI, how would we run uh, the who am I command inside of an agent? Um, in this case, I'm going to take a look through the commands that we have. Um, it looks like it's just going to be shell and then who am I? Judging from this. And there we go. We now have uh, we have now covered the basics of Empire with the exception of modules, which we will look at after getting back or getting an agent back from the Git server. Kill your agents on the web server, then let's look at proxying Empire agents. So I'll go ahead and mark that as completed. I'm gonna go ahead and as much as it pains me, I am going to kill this agent. I can always rerun that if I want to. Oh, that was painful. Oh, I did not like doing that. I don't know about you guys. Not uh, not ideal. Um, that being said, I'll see you guys next time when we cover task 28, Hop Listeners with Empire. But until then, happy hacking.